Hi, how you doing? My name is Chris Cole and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a coloring book just like this very, very easily in Canva, using Canva. Now, of course, you can use other software. You can even use uh, Microsoft Word or you can use PowerPoint. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this using Canva. Now, I will give you full disclosure here. I, I have purchased a premium pack of content and I've also used a an account I have with Creative Fabrica. And if you're involved in the KDP or the Amazon based uh, coloring books, well, then you'll be fully aware of Creative Fabrica and basically how good a resource this is. Now, I created this book and it's taken me about 30 minutes to create and I'm sure you'll agree as I scroll through it the book itself actually looks stunning, it looks engaging so that if you have any child or even adult that wants to you know obviously colour in and they enjoy the colouring and the activities that goes on in relation to it well then you can create this, exactly this in Canva and I'm going to show you how I've done that. What I am going to do to condense the steps down is I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to show you the steps and then basically I don't need to show you every 30 pages, just simply show you a few of the pages and a few of the examples. So coming across to canva.com you'll see this is the raw book that I created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to show you examples. Now I already have told you I'm using a premium example or a premium pack of content to create this and I've used various elements out of the pack to create this book. So now that we're over on Canva homepage what I want to do is create a design. So select the button create design and what I'm looking for in this example is I'm actually looking for custom size. Click the custom size uh, and my example I'm going to go on inches and it's 8.5 8.5 inches by 11 inches and I'm going to select create new design. Now of course what I like to do in my uh, coloring books is have a border around the actual coloring images and have a bit of white space the whole way around the page. This helps with the bleed, the no bleed, um, you know your contents outside the area, those problems that you get whenever you upload in to Amazon KDP. And to do that, I have a template that I use, um, and I've got this template myself from um, Tangent Templates, but there are other templates out there. So if I come over into my personal uploads and I choose the template that I've uploaded, uh, you'll see that there is the sort of white space and then the gray area that gives me the trim size. So I drag that out to fill the page, as simple as that. And then what I also then do is I come back to the elements and I drag in uh, basically a square or a rectangle element to fill the white space. Now, the reason I do that, I fill the white space, I then edit the colors, make that white, I give it a border of around two pixels, then I select the back image and delete. I've now got my sizing that I like to have. I do that first before I start creating my pages and then of course I select duplicate and I duplicate the number of pages that I want. Typically when I'm creating books as well, if I'm creating a 30 page book then you're looking at least 60 pages. The reason I do that is I leave a coloring page and then the rear of the page I typically leave blank. That's, this allows for bleed through and then I have another coloring page. So as you scroll through the coloring book, essentially what I personally want is I want the coloring page on the right hand leaf. As you turn the book, it's blank, and then the next coloring page on the right hand leaf. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I create, say, two of the coloring pages, and then uh, a few of the other elements, but you get the picture basically. Uh, you keep duplicating that, and then you add in your additional pages. What I've got, is I have got a pack that I purchase um, and basically this particular pack is a Mr and Mrs Claus which is perfect for this time of year. Uh, we're currently in September, get the book created, uploaded and into Amazon and approved and it'll be online uh, by October and then obviously selling for the quarter four boom that always happens basically at this time of year because of Christmas. So what I've got 
and what I typically use is the actual but you have the backgrounds and you also have the backgrounds and characters and what I love about these packs is that they're so versatile there are different offers within the packs uh, and if you buy the, you know the whole pack it's so versatile what you can do with it between your marketing of your content and also the creation of your books I'm not going to get too far into it today essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a pre-designed page and you'll see exactly what I mean so I'm choosing a random page or a random uh, pre-designed image I'll drag and drop and essentially all I do is I drag it out to meet the the lines and then I'll drag the top and bottom handles and that's it one final thing I do is I will typically send that backwards so basically I made a mistake there previously my shape fill should be zero and then I just have an outline and then if I click away you'll see I've got a border around the image and then of course the image itself what I'll do is I'll duplicate this page I've got a third page to do again I need to edit my shape so I have zero fill which of course you can't see at the moment but if I then bring it back in another image out of the pack and in this example I'll choose image 20 drag and drop let that upload and then I literally drag that out to meet the the borders drag it up drag it down and then right click and then send backwards if I then click away from the page you'll see how I have basically a ready to go coloring page perfect now for in order for me to create a wee bit more engagement in the books um, you can continue with these packs the packs are fantastic you get 30 images uh, which gives you a perfect coloring book I like to make a you know a bit of a twist in it sometimes I will put additional characters into you know the pre-existing images I'll change the background around with the actual main character it just depends on how I feel additionally what I'll also do just let me duplicate that page I will delete um, send backwards delete that image so I've kept my border additionally what I also like to do is I like to add in say a word search or I like to add in um, a maze and then I use my characters with the maze and that's what I'm going to show you in this example so if I come across I have other examples here and these are um, basically I picked these up I went over onto creativefabrica.com I searched for mazes I believe it was actually Christmas mazes I uh, was what the search that term that I put in so in amongst this pack I'm gonna choose this image here and I'm gonna drag it in and drop you'll see now I have a maze that I can position and move about in my page what I then do is I can back into my main pack and I look at my characters and for example um, we have Santa and if I scroll through the preview say so that's Mrs. Claus uh, so we'll put Mrs. Claus into the image uh, and I put her to the bottom And then within the same pack, um, I'll look for maybe a, a Santa. And I'll choose an exciting Santa or something that I feel that would be good. There's Santa tucked up in his sleigh. Santa's got a little teddy. There, we'll use that one. Drag this in. Uh, let it go. Let it upload. Put that here. Uh, you see, I'm building the picture up straight away. Now what I'm going to do is oh that needs to go across here so what i need to do is i need to flip that horizontal i need to put this here um and then final thing that i like to do is add in a bit of text so add in a heading helps on to give mrs claus her teddy and if it, it would help if i could spell as well uh, what we then do is we look at the font size and then we look at the actual font I've used this one uh, I quite like this font um, so I'll put that into the middle take it off center actually 
And final thing I do with the font color is I don't like the hard black, so I take it to a darker gray. And I basically just play about with it until I'm happy with it. And this is how I build the book up. You'll see that uh, by doing this, you can build a book up very, very quickly. Um, so what I've used in this example is a pre-designed. Now, this is a premium pack. And of course, there will be a link somewhere either within this video or below this video where you can go and check out packs like this uh, and pick this up. Or what you can do is you can go to Creative Fabrica and you can build things up with the pack or other images. You, of course, you again, you're welcome to go to Creative Fabrica find santa based uh line drawings just like this but i can nearly guarantee that other people will be using similar content to you know everybody else is using creative fabrica whereas if you go the route of the the premium stuff uh, it's quite limited as to who's going to be creating books and it's also going to be even more limited whenever you start to build out uh with obviously mazes word search uh, dot to dot whatever it is that you want to do and you build up such a book like that one of the other things that i also do if we break my book down again i've used a previous example and you see as i hover over it uh, i've used individual characters i've used a background i've used another individual character and again this actually came just from the canva elements so i come into elements uh, i search for present and you'll see this was the, the the element that I used. It's not the color that I wanted, but again, you can edit the colors, make that black, and then I was able to resize and reposition that. So that's what I've used in this example. And then of course, I have a, a, an element box that says this book belongs to you. And that, I basically created this book in under 30 minutes, and you'll see that it is actually a very, very good and well-designed book. It's something that you would be proud to put your name on. The only thing that you need to do now is create the cover for the book. And again, if I can just show you in this pack, for those of you that aren't aware of what comes in these various packs, if I come to, uh, it's actually the third one-time offer, but you'll see why these are, th these books, or these images are stunning uh, in both graphical detail and color detail. These actually could be used for so many different things on uh, both Amazon KDP in your marketing, in your book covers, in uh, book internals, even if you're going on the colored side of things. What you can also do is you can do postcards, you can do journals, you can do notebooks, anything Christmas themed. These things literally pop and you're not going to get anything like this on KDP, Etsy and any of these sites. The reason being is they're custom designed, they're premium, not everybody has them. And the beauty of that is you then stand out above anybody else. Uh, and that's why I love the, the you know these images, that's why I love packs like this. I also have my own packs, I design my own packs. But for um clarity and for you know unbiased opinion this is somebody else's pack that i picked up myself and i'm simply teaching you how i create my coloring books and then upload them into amazon and if i come back across to uh, my preview again this is the book that i've created uh what you can also do is you can do and this is me thinking on the fly here color by number so if you're going for younger kids you can get something you can put a number in his hat uh, for red and I, you know pick the number one or the number three around it and build image up for children coloring in their images so you can see that these images can be used for a lot of creative different things online and it would help you with your marketing and the sales of your coloring books if you feel that there's something that you would like to pick up i know that this pack at the moment as i create this video is currently on a, a, an insane offer where there's more than 50 percent off what you could do is you could pick it up through the link. It's either going to be in one of the corners of this video or there's going to be a link below this page. And on that note, of course, my name's Chris Cole from GlobalPLR.com. I'll speak to you across in the next tutorial video. And as always, if you have questions for me in creating books, creating book covers, Amazon KDP, well then know that you can drop a comment below this video or you can always reply to any of my emails and you'll come through to myself and of course, I'll try to help you where best I can.